Okay, I showed you, the, uh, I promised you I'd show you the midway of my craft room. All right, here's the side with all my fabric. Remember, that was real junky over there. So this has really gotten cleaned up. You can actually see the floor over here. And then my pattern cabinet area, that was full of st uh, stuff in front of it. So it's starting to look a lot better look at this I need to clean off my computer area a little bit it's got dark here we go but it looks a lot better than it did some of these patterns here I need to get listed on my Etsy store so Here's some improvements. So I just do little by little. And then over here, I have one of my new pieces of furniture. And then here's those white drawers I was telling you about. One is for my Cricut and one is for my uh, ribbons. And then my husband, he made this pegboard for me back when I lived in the other house. And then this is how I have my hoops for my Husqvarna ep uh, design epic is um, hanging. This I'm going to keep. I've had this for a long time. I've got, I, I got it at a yard sale, so I'm keeping this. This is perfect to store um, little odds and ends and my, my scrapbook stuff, uh, which I don't do a whole lot of. And then I have my rulers hanging on the side here. That's not going to be the permanent place, but right now that's where they are. And then this is my 201 machine, which I have piled up with some things that I need to find a spot for. That's my 201. And then over here, see if I can get over here. I'm on some heavy-duty pain medication. I feel kind of woozy. I'm about ready to go take me another nap. That's what I decided to store my fabric, my uh, yarn on. I ordered these cubicles from Walmart, and you get six of them for $40. And then over here, I need to straighten up just a little bit more. It's not too bad looking under there. And there's my Kenmore, which I need to clean that off. And then this area right here, these three drawers, I have my um, fabric flowers um, in there. I think I might have some paper flowers, but those I might get rid of because I probably won't get any use out of them. And then that side of black drawers, you've seen that for a long time. And then I'm starting to stack like boxes and stuff up here for organization. Here's my new uh, thread rack. Look, is it that nice? And then my husband hung this up for me. I've had that a long time. I have no idea where I found it. And right here is my cutting table. Which I want to show you a surprise. Voila, I got my sew machine. So I sewed a little bit the other day. I was able to pull it off. I mean, pull it toward the front because I was able to clear this table off. Now I've just got this little bit left to go and then my table will be cleaned off and then I can bring my serger over here. Now I will show you what's underneath here. This is stuff that I'm not sure what to do with at the moment. So I'm shoving it under my table. And... Uh, it's going to stay like that for a while because, like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with some of this stuff. I have my old sewing box I got at a yard sale. And then here's some other totes here. And then this is scrap fabrics there. So I'm going, I've am going. i been using that to experiment with masks. And then I'm going to use some of that for um, children's clothes. I mean, dog clothes. And then when I need it, I bring this wooden TV tray table out and I put my June Taylor mat on it. 
and then I've got that little iron. I like that little iron. And uh, the, these right here, I said I was going to use for my sequins and my um, my uh, glitter. And so really, that's about all that I've done, which is a great improvement. So I'm sitting here on the far side of my room, and I'm going to show you um, from here to the other wall what it looks like. Look at that. Does that does it that look a whole lot better? Now you go to the video that says messy sewing room and then compare it to this. I am very proud of the work that's gotten done. And if it wasn't for my granddaughter, I wouldn't have gotten this far. Caitlin has really, really helped me on this. She had some really great ideas. And um there was something else I wanted my husband to hang up. What was it? I don't think he's hung it up yet. It was another sewing machine thing. Oh, and then this one right here. That's another new item there. Which I, I'm going to try to move that over just a little bit. So you can see the whole thing. Um, But there was another um, item to hang up. And it had a sewing machine on it. Ooh. Um, oh, and then my husband's going to build me some shelves up here. So that way I have somewhere to put my sewing books. But where is it? Hmm, did he hang it up already? I don't see it. Hmm. But it's my other sewing... Thing that I would put uh, my, that I was going to hang my scissors on well it's here it's probably over around in here somewhere but I do have it and like I said I'm going to hang my sewing scissors on it okay well anyhow that is it for this uh tour of my almost ready sewing room see i've got a box here with uh books and stuff in it look at all these books i have i've got that pile that pile and then i have this pile right here i need to finish this up this is a little girl's purse so i have no idea i don't think he put it up I think I showed it to him, but I don't think I told him where I wanted it. So it's in here. All right, well, you have a good day or good night whenever you're watching this. Please subscribe, click the like channel, leave comments and questions. Bye-bye for now.